Hey people, this is Briar Fan here. Come back at you with another tobacco review. Tonight we're going to look at Sutliff Private Stock Navigators Blend. Um, thoughts up front, tastes a lot like French Quarter. Uh, doesn't smell like it, but it tastes like it. It doesn't smell like it in the tin, but we'll get into that later on in the review. Um, right now, let's take a look at what Sutliff has to say about their own blend out of their product catalog. Navigator Blend. Chart your course for an adventure in smoking pleasure with the superior mixture of all dark tobaccos. This soothing sweet aromatic lends itself to relaxation, allow, allowing the imagination to soar. Okay, you know, I'll go with that. It, it kind of does that, I guess. So, let's get up under the hood, see what we've got, Just sniff around. Initial scent that I pick up, and this is going to sound weird, smells like nail polish remover. But it's like a sweet nail polish remover. Like almost something uh, alcoholic, if you will. On deeper inhalation, you still get that smell, but you can smell there's a fruitiness undertone to it. And I'm not sure what the fruit is. I'm, I'm trying to discern it, but I don't think I can. It's very dark, as you can see. I mean, if you look, to be honest, I'm looking at it through the viewfinder now, and I don't even know if you can see it. It's that dark. So there's what it looks like. We'll get you a little light on it. Um, it's all dark tobaccos. So let's, uh, let's get into the tasting. visitors a little housekeeping this is my uh, duca I think I've showed it to you uh, I always make a comment that I do have other pipes but uh, this is one of my favorite pipes I have a tendency to smoke it all the time Okay, like I said, it tastes a lot like French Quarter, but I'm picking up a little bit of fruit on the back end of it, and there's some smokiness to it, too. Nasal exhale leaves nothing. The room note smells a lot like uh, French Quarter also. I did a review on French Quarter back a, a while back, and it, it wasn't too bad. Um, this is a decent aromatic. I don't know if I would smoke this all the time. I, I really don't know. Um, I don't think it's a it's an everyday smoker for me. But it might be to uh, uh, to somebody. It's not a bad tasting tobacco. It has that weird French Quarter taste that I can't figure out what it is. Uh, but all in all, it's pretty good. It's enjoyable. And, and the room note's enjoyable also. So it would be something that you could probably smoke, uh, you know, around others. Um, overall, it's a decent tobacco. It came out of the tin pretty much ready to smoke. Once again, this is the another one of those aromatics that will kind of fool you into thinking that because it's an aromatic, it, you'll have to dry it out. I didn't have to do any drying time on this. And really, the characteristics of the smoke didn't change between a cob and a briar. Um, so I'm, I was kind of pleased with that to a certain extent. It burns down to a, a fine gray ash. Uh, so it burns pretty well and pretty evenly. It's easy to pack, so that's good. Um, if I was going to compare this to anything, I think I would probably compare it to French Quarter, um, uh, which is also done by Sutliff. So, guys, that's about all I have to say about that. Once again, uh, you know, if you got comments, put them down in the box. Um, my email and all that other stuff is going to be at the end of the video or at that end, depending on which way you're looking at it. Um, we'll see you soon. I don't know what I'm going to review next, so you guys take her easy.